Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. Today for my Try It Out Tuesday, I am going to be making a card using a um, stamp set from Pretty Pink Posh. It's part of their June release. And when I saw this cute little stamp set, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it, so I picked it up. But this is called Darling Dragonflies, and it's so cute. It's a smaller size stamp set. It has, um, it's a 3x4. But um, no sentiments in here, but that's okay. We can always pull from our stash. But we're going to start off by stamping all four of the dragonflies on a piece of white cardstock. I'm just going to use my mini Misty. And I had a smudge on my paper, so I'm going to flip it around. <laughs> I'm going to use a Memento Tuxedo Black ink to ink up my images here. I'm going to color these little dragonflies in with my Copic markers. And so Memento works great for that. The cardstock that I'm using is Nina 80 pound. And I did leave the coloring in, I just sped it up a little bit. But for the wings, I'm using Y00, Y13, and Y18. Just slightly shading them. And then for the little dragonfly bodies, I chose um, some greens simple and easy coloring. I chose uh, G40, G43, and G46, and then I striped the little dragonfly tails with my BG57. Quick and easy coloring. But they, I think these little guys are so cute. Now these do have coordinating dies, but I chose not to get them. I don't mind fussy cutting them out, but um, there they are. I'm just going to use my scissors and fussy cut each one of those out. And there we have it. Okay, now, so cute. We'll set those aside, and then we're gonna do some more stamping. Now I left the dragonflies in my mini Misty, and I'm taking some Judikins Embossable Window Plastic. I'm gonna do, use my anti-static powder tool. I always have to use this on the Judikins um, Embossable Plastic, because if you do not do that, you have a embossing mess. <laughs> so I'm gonna ink up my dragonflies with my Versamark ink and I'm going to stamp them and I'm actually going to do this step twice I'm going to cut out two of these but you can barely see it but now I'm going to go in over the top of my images with some WOW Cloud 9 embossing powder now this was actually from a Simon Says Stamp Kit, I believe, a while back. But it is so pretty, and I love the gold hue to it. So I just added that to my images, and I melted it. And it warped my plastic a little bit. I didn't wait for my heat gun to, to heat up, but that's okay. All I'm going to do is cut out the wings. And again, I'm going to cut out two sets, so I did this twice. I'll just fussy cut directly around the edge of the wings. And if you wanted to actually fussy cut around the whole image, I think that would work just as well. But I just wanted the wings. So I'm going to fold them in half to give them a little bit of um, texture or a little bit of, of dimension there. And there we have it. Now we're going to attach the wings back onto our dragonflies. I'm just going to use my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive, add a dot, and then add another dot and then add the second set of wings. And I, when I was looking up the links for you guys, I did know um, over on Blitzy, the WOW Cloud 9 is actually 40% off right now. Um, it's $1.92, I believe. I'm not sure for how long. So if you're watching this after the 19th, the price I'm sure will be changed. But um, I thought a dollar ninety two is great, but I, it's a beautiful and uh, glittery embossing pattern. But I'm just attaching both of my wings with my glue. It does take a little bit of time to dry, but I wanted to show you what they look like. They look, I think, dragonflies. The iridescent hue to them, they can be so pretty. I'm not really a bug person, but um, these ones I think turned out so so cute. Okay, next we're gonna do some die cutting. This is the duo, the Stitch Duo 3 die from Pretty Pink Posh also. It creates a nice domed window frame. So using white cardstock, I'm going to cut out a back panel for my window frame. 
and then using a piece of very vanilla cardstock, I'm going to cut out my window frame. The inside piece just um, goes right back in the back panel here, and then it creates a cute little uh, dome shaped window. So I'll die cut those out. Now for my sentiment, since it doesn't come with a uh, sentiment in the stamp set, I grabbed one from my stash. This is from Simon Says Stamp, and it's a Get Well Soon die. Um, it's They're all connected, but when you die cut them out, they're individual. So using white cardstock, I'll die cut out my sentiment there. Now I'm going to flip over my window pane, add some foam tape right behind it, and then we'll set our sentiment aside and then our window, our front window frame aside. We're going to work on our background. Now, I'm grabbing a little piece of my masking paper here. Now this step, um, this has a, a few little bloopers in this tutorial, but um, you can actually skip the masking. I grabbed the little grass image from the stamp set and I'm going to stamp it twice on my masking paper. And then I'll just fussy cut both of my little grass um, backgrounds out with my mask. Now I'm going to take a pencil and outline the inside windows of my window panes here. This way I know where to stamp my grassy area. Now at first I was going to use my memento to stamp my grass, but then I thought, well, I'm going to use some clear embossing powder, so I'll use my VersaFine ink. So I'll ink up that grassy area and stamp just above my pencil line. And then I'll stamp the other side. Next I'll go over my grassy area with um, some Nuvo Crystal Clear Embossing Powder. And I went ahead and melted that. Now I'm going to remove the backing off of my mask and place it on top of my panel here. And this is the part where you could probably skip because um, in the stamp set there's also two willow images. There's one that has one and then the other one has two. I think they're called foxtails too. <laughs> but I'm going to stamp the one with two and when I stamped it I come way completely skipped the masking area. I stamped in between two little blades of grass so it completely missed the mask. So this is why I say you could probably skip the mask. And then for my second one, I'm just trying to figure out where I want it and I ended up putting it right next to my the first one we stamped, but um, I completely, it completely covered, was covered by my window pane. So you could probably get away with just stamping that one all the way to the left. <laughs> It masked beautifully, but you can't see it when you put the window pane on there. I'm just going to remove my mask, and then I'm going to go over my foxtails here with some clear embossing powder. Now to fix the fact that I didn't, my willow or foxtails were floating in the air, I used my black marker and then went over my marker with my Versa marker so I could, so embossing powder would hit it, so it wouldn't be floating. <laughs> But there we go. I just melted that embossing powder and then I'm going to grab my, my Copic markers. We're going to actually color in my background here. I'm just using my eraser to erase my pencil marks. Now for my grass and the leaves on my little foxtails there, I am going to use the same colors I used for the dragonfly bodies. Starting off with the G40 and then going in with the G43 and then finishing off with G46. So my grass is all colored in. Now to create my background, I chose some Distress Oxide ink. This is um, Faded Jeans and I'm going over really heavy on the top, but I'm going very lightly around my, um, my little willows there. Just kind of creating like a little halo around them. I'm going to add some little water droplets and give my background a little bit of texture since we're not going to have anything on the very top portion of the window panes. I thought texture would be really nice. So I'm just using my towel to, to blot that off. And then of course my foxtails here are blue 
and I didn't want a blue, so I'm actually taking my Wink Estella clear shimmer pen and I'm pulling that ink that's on my my foxtails out. Wink Estella did great with that. It takes so there'll be white with some shimmer to them. Now I'm going to remove the backing off of my phone tape. And then you can see a little bit of the white underneath the grass. So I'm just going to take my Copic markers and fill that white area in. That way it doesn't show white. I just pulled it down a little bit more. I'm going to place my window frame right on top of my background. And here you can see that center window um, covered up that second willow. So it was just you could probably skip stamping that second one. <laughs> that was my second blooper. Next I'm taking a piece of the very vanilla cardstock and I'm going to cut out a panel that's four inches by five and a quarter. And then to give my background a little bit of texture I grabbed an embossing folder that I had in my stash and I'm going to just run that through my Big Shot. And so I have a little bit of texture going on in my background. I'm just going to take my tape runner and adhere this panel to my card base. My card base today is a top folding A2 size card base. It's four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I thought since this was going to be a get well card that the soft um, creamy color of the very vanilla cardstock would be really pretty and I like the outcome. Now my glue hasn't quite dried yet but I'm going to fluff up my wings carefully but they look so pretty. They, I think they look really realistic. I love that effect and in fact to, um, at the end um, any kind of stamped images that you have that have wings. You could do fairies, little fairies would be adorable, oh my goodness. You could do butterflies of course or bumblebees but I showed a butterfly that I had did at the end here. Okay now when I kind of arranged my dragonflies I want to place that smaller dragonfly in the center kind of covering up that that willow that you can't see anyway <laughs> and I'm just going to glue them in place with my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive here. Once we have those all glued down we're going to add our sentiment. Now I just chose the Get Well because we have one extra dragonfly and I thought if we put soon and the dragonfly on the inside it would be a nice little surprise when you open up the card. I don't do it very often, I don't decorate the inside so I thought it would be nice. So I'm just adding the get and the well. Now here it kind of looks drowned out my sentiment but in real life the contrast is wonderful and you can see the get well beautifully. Um, close up pictures will be on my blog if you guys want to check it out. I'll leave a link to my blog down below but um, I use I actually take pictures outside in the natural daylight so you could really see the contrast. But I'm just adhering my soon and my fourth dragonfly on the inside of my card and I think that looks lovely. Now for bells and whistles I'm going to go in with some pretty pink posh jewels. These are so pretty. This is um, These come in a variety of colors and this is called buttercream and there's tons of different sizes in here so I'm just adding them and a few areas around my little dragonflies. I'm just attaching them with my, my glue there. And they actually have the same iridescent hue almost as the Wow Embossing Powder. But I think that's a real soft and, and nice looking um, Get Well Soon card. <laughs> I don't make very many of these and I actually need them a lot. So um, I thought I'd make one today. So I hope this gives you an idea on how to create a get well card. Now I wanted to show you the butterfly that I had created doing the same effect with the wings and um, I just colored in the butterfly with my Copic markers and then did the same thing that I did with the dragonflies. I did the um, embossed it on the the window plastic and then used the cloud nine and it creates a beautiful effect. I think that just looks so fun but Thanks for joining me for my Try It Out Tuesday. I wish you a fantastic day. Um, I'd love to hear your comments. Let me know what you think. And we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye, guys.